It's the long awaited. <laughs> the finally, rap region. <laughs> finally upon us. The rap region. Let me get my notes up. Here we go. So I actually didn't even do a rap region. Re- re- I did, but I did a sort of a genre. I did G Funk. Okay. Okay, which is, okay, it, it is sort of West Coast. Um, so is that what you meant last week when you said, well, sort of, when I asked if you'd done a rap video? No. What do you mean? I just realistically didn't do anything. <laughs> no, I actually did, but um, it was, I was actually going to talk about what I might do next time was like the influence of, um, say, Kanye West and sort of everyone oh, yeah. that he's sort of, because like, like then you can talk about like Travis mentored, Scott, Kid Cudi yeah. and stuff like that. Or The Weeknd as well. Yep. So this week I'm going to talk about the little sub-genre um, G funk stands for gangster funk. It does gangster funkadelic. <laughs> I don't know if that's a part of it, but it is localized to the West Coast. Um, more specifically, uh, Los Angeles is sort of where it originated. But the Bay Area, some people say, um, sort of started it. Um, guys yeah. like Too Short and E Forty were making G funk type beats um, all the way back in the mid '80s, and Dr. Dre wasn't even big until the late 80s early 90s so yeah we actually don't know but dr dre is sort of the general consensus of um who was the most influential and the first ever g-funk artist or was he (laughs) there was three men this is (laughs) v-source three men lay law that's a dope name kmg that's also this guy's name cold 187 um or cold 187 UM. I'm not sure <laughs> what that guy's name is. <laughs> Random. I think cold 187 would have been cool enough. Yeah. Um, they say they created uh, G Funk, um, okay. and that Dr. Dre actually stole it from them. <laughs> um, and they even uh, and they said that Dr. Dre did didn't give them any credit on oh, okay. their on their al- on his album The Chronic, which was his big uh, album, and even. Snoop Dogg's Doggy Style, they said that they um, helped produce that. One of the best album that. names of all time. <laughs> but wait, they helped produce it? No, they say they did. Oh, but okay. Dr. Dre's the only producer on there. So I don't know. So are they uncredited though? I don't know. Not, well, I don't, I don't what think did, we'll ever know. What does Snoop Dogg say? <laughs> I don't think I he's think spoken on it. He needs to. Yeah. <laughs> he's the only one. <laughs> um, and what makes it even more confusing is that Snoop Dogg released that album under the same label that those three guys released albums under. Oh. So like, did he help or what? <laughs> it's, a, it's an investigation. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> Could have blow this case wide open. So it is a big mess, but there's no uh, doubting that uh, all four of them, Cold, 187UM, KMG, Lay, uh, Law Lay, no, Lay Law, <laughs> that's such a confusing name, um, and Dr. Dre, all very influential and very... Yeah. Um, very pivotal in the success. And then there was one guy that I also found, Daz Dillinger. Okay. Um, apparently he gets lost um, in the G-Funk mess oh, okay. because he has more credits on Snoop Dogg's and Tupac's early work than um, Dr. Dre or anyone. Okay. So like, he's like the most, like in yeah. the early stages, he was the, the biggest producer. and Like the creator of the sound. No one knows, no one knows who he is. <laughs> um, but in today's generation, we have a lot... Um, of West Coast guys coming through, Schoolboy Q, uh, Kendrick, Nip- Nipsey Hussle, uh, YG. A lot of these guys have definitely carried on, and and a lot of them have actually worked with Dr. Dre and um, helped sort of carry it on. And I think it's they've done a really good, um, really good job of that. And some even say that Eminem, early Eminem, was uh, G Funk. Yeah. Which I don't really. No, I don't see that at all. Well, Dr. Dre produced it, so maybe they. So maybe they just sort of threw it in there as like a little token. But yeah, I'm really impressed with the G-Funk. Uh, some of the greatest artists ever started out. Dr. Yeah. Dre, Tupac, Snoop Dogg. Um, yeah. And Lay Law. I, yeah, Lay Law. Or Law KMG. Lay, which is it? Lay Law. Lay Law, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, hopefully I typed it right. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally one letter difference. Like the Y and the W switched around. But uh, yeah, so anytime... Um, someone comes through with that sort of sound it's really refreshing and yeah because it's not very saturated at the moment we're very trapped um, orient, orientated orient, oriented I think both of those are right yeah I don't know English is weird we're very trap oriented so when guys like Schoolboy Q or YG come out with a because I think the sound is very summery 
Yeah, it is. It's very upbeat. Well, it's funk, sort of funk yeah. infused. So, yeah, that's all I really had on it. But can't wait to hear some more old school music um, in today's era. And hopefully, Dr. Drake can uh, maybe help collaborate on some too. Mm. One of the greatest producers of all time.